A head-on car accident forces a bride and groom to push back wedding plans. A couple was with roots in Huntley almost died. They spoke to CBS 2 Stephen Graves about their miraculous recovery. When you see Jesse Ferris and Steve Shirley look at each other, <laughs> there's no denying the love, a connection that started at work. Uh, about five years ago, and we got to be pretty good friends pretty quick. It evolved into giving each other rings and an engagement, never imagining their relationship would end up here in wheelchairs and lying next to each other in hospital beds. Wishing that it was a dream. I mean, I remember asking if it was. August 30th, Steve was driving this Kia with Jesse in the passenger seat. They were headed to Steve's friend's house on Route 20 near Belvedere. The driver of a car in the opposite lane tried to pass another vehicle, but instead, hit the couple and hit us head on. Neither of them remember what happened in the moments before or after the crash, but when they woke up in the hospital, what they did remember was that their wedding was just two weeks away. Steve's bachelor party was the next night. I know it. So that meant while sitting in a hospital bed recovering from broken legs, ribs, fingers, and lung injuries, calls were made to family and to cancel venue plans. He really helped me by calling everyone. Uh, I don't think I called a single one. Uh, it, was, it was overwhelming. It was a lot. The two are now focusing on getting their lives back at Mary and Joy Rehabilitation Center in Wheaton. Jesse has made one promise. I'm going to walk down that aisle without any devices. I'm going to walk up to that. I'm going to walk right up to you. Even if the wedding is pushed back to next year. I think it has helped us see that we can kind of make it through those hard times that you don't expect. Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. A blood test was given to the driver of the other vehicle. When the results come back, the state's attorney's office will determine if charges will be filed.